Hi, this is Mark at LearnHowToGarden.com and in today's episode of the 10 Minute Gardener we're going to do an update on our chilies and our peppers um, and we're going to talk about the importance of getting your growing container right. Uh, peppers are one of the most popular things to grow on balconies, uh, on our decks, in containers and I think it's that people have to get that really important balance right between containment and constraining something. Uh, and if you get it wrong, then you really won't get the most um, crop, you won't get the most benefit from what you're growing. And at the beginning of uh, our series on ch chilies, we talked about we're going to do an experiment to see whether they would grow better in the ground or in a container. And in a second, I'll show you that comparison. But before that, what I want to show you is why it's important to get your container size right. There's an optimum container size, and really, um, for growing peppers or chilies, even in the smallest space, you want to be looking at about 10 to 12 litres. It, it's a sort of fair old container. This uh, is a ring of fire. This was planted at exactly the same time as the others, but it's been kept in this sort of three and a half litre container. And yeah, we've got beautiful little chilli here. Uh, you could use this as a green chilli as it is. It won't be uh, as hot as when it gets red, but it'll still be warm enough. Um, and while we're talking about this, if we're focused, uh, I'll no doubt be reiterating this later, but a chilli is not evenly hot throughout its length. Around the shoulders here, it's always warmer because the heat in the chilli tends to come from those white ribs um, between the seeds. So around the shoulder, you'll always get more heat. So it's quite a small little compact plant, still quite a lot of flowers on it, but quite tiny. Next to it, We've got one that was potted on um, about six weeks ago. And as you can see, even by moving up just a couple of pot sizes into about um, a six litre pot, you've got a plant that's just twice as big. It's taller, it's wider, it looks stronger, and it's actually going to produce a lot more fruit. Again, we already have fruit on this chilli. So this is our medium chilli. And you could grow it for the whole of its life in this pot as long as you fed it and watered it quite well and you'd get quite a nice crop. But what I would recommend is trying to get it into really a 10 litre pot is what I think is the minimum size. This is in a 10 litre pot, uh, smothered in chilies. You could start picking these and using them already. Uh, smothered in flowers, it's going to have lots on. It's only the 1st of August uh, and she's a real beauty. But if I just pick up this one and show you, that's the difference. That's the difference between containment, growing in a container to contain it, and constraining it. This is too small. It knows it doesn't have enough space to grow. It knows it doesn't have enough space to be a big plant. So what it does to protect itself for survival, it starts to produce seed. It as a chili wants to keep going and it knows it's reached the limits of where it can grow, so it's going to start throwing seed out, which is why you're getting chilies on something this small. But you're not going to get the full benefit of your plant. You're going to get a few chilies, and that's it. And to be honest, the actual space that this pot takes up compared to this, because it's a taller pot to give you your volume, is only about twice as much. So look for some tall pots. You don't want dumpy ones if you're growing in balconies or if you're growing on your patio. You want the depth from them. It's still going to require feeding and again I would recommend a high potash uh, feed for this, exactly the same as your tomatoes, you know. You can get very sort of geeky about what you should be feeding them with but I think a weak tomato feed twice a week is brilliant and it will give you huge amounts of chilies. So as far as our comparison goes, this is the ring of fire in the ground so it's probably a foot taller because, you know, it's growing in the ground, not in a pot. It's got a slightly thicker stem um, and probably a few more chilies, but there's not a lot in it. It really is one of those things that you can grow the perfect chili in a pot and get away with it. If we just focus down here in front, um, this is a quite warm pepper, uh, but it's more of a sweet pepper. And as you can see, that's well on the way. The trick with all these is to get them started early in the year, or as I said in one of the early videos, buy your chili plants or your plugs from a specialist. Um, 
If you're growing the very hot ones, like we're growing the Dorset Naga and the sort of Habanero uh, Trinidadian Seven Pot, don't expect many chilies on those yet. They're much slower, they take a lot longer to grow. The plants won't look quite this tall and lush, but you know, they'll make up for it in the end. So remember, when you're doing things in pots, it's containment, and the larger the container, the better. If you've got a bigger container on your balcony or your deck, remember you can grow a couple of different things in it, and their roots will sort of, if you like, intermingle, and they'll take different things from the soil. Um, but as far as our chilies go, a 10 litre pot is what we should be looking for, really. If not, then you're just going to get smaller plants. I hope that's uh, been of some interest to you. If you're not already on Learn How to Garden, there's a link below um, this video. You can just hop over and subscribe. That gets you our monthly email. No, it doesn't get you a monthly email. In fact, it does get you a monthly email. It gets you a monthly newsletter. But we send you an email to tell you that it's out. Anyway, if you think that might be of some interest, hop over. Uh, if not, we hope to see you back here on YouTube. And thanks a lot for watching. And that's Mark at the 10 Minute Gardener saying bye for now.